I'm doing a Bible app series, um, a Bible plan app series. Um, I am on day four. Um, yes, I did skip the weekend. I did um, three days last week and I skipped the weekend so we can enjoy our weekend with our family and come back and you know hopefully everyone has meditated on the um the bible plan and what we have already gone over i'm sorry you too but facebook is not coming on for some reason let me get my technical difficulties in order real quick. Sorry, y'all. something with them <laughs> seriously <laughs> hello 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 facebook is prayer call with shalanda Yes, I am back again to finish up this Bible plan series. Um, I was having some difficulties getting in on Facebook, so I'm already on YouTube. Just waiting for some people to come on in. Um, I don't want to be on that long tonight. I just want to get this Bible plan done. And um, so I hope and pray that everybody is having a blessed Monday. Um, it's a new month. It's a new week. It's just new, new, new. God is working. He's definitely doing new things. He's definitely open, opening doors and opening our eyes and, and expanding us. And I just thank God for the newness. So um, I'm going to start off with some prayer and then we're going to get in. Father God, in the mighty name of Jesus, we humbly come before you declaring that you are awesome. We thank you for being our strong tower. We thank you for being the will in the middle of the will. We thank you for being everything that you are. Thank you, Lord God, for being the same God today, yesterday, and forevermore. Thank you for never changing. Thank you for being faithful. Thank you for being a promise keeper and a door opener. Thank you for being a lover, the lover of our soul, our way maker. We ask today that you be in control, Lord God, that you will open up our eyes, that we may see wondrous things out of your law, out of your word, and we can apply it to our lives. We thank you for everything. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. So if y'all don't know, I have been doing a Bible plan series um right off my phone from the bible app i do these by myself all the time um and i felt like god had spoke to me and told me to do one right here on live so i'm on part four day four i did do three but at the weekend i didn't do it because i figured i like to hang with my family on the weekend and everybody else so um, to just refresh everybody, the first one was water into wine. And that's when Jesus was at the wedding and he performed his first miracle, Jesus, uh, water into wine. He turned the water into wine. Um, the next one it was a great haul of fish where Jesus worked that miracle. And oh my God, the abundance of fish that they received um, and calming the storm when they were on a boat and, and um, Jesus was sleeping and the fishermen, they were used to being out in, um, in the Sea of Galilee and the storms raging, but they weren't used to it like that. And um, Jesus woke up and he calmed the storm. 
right in the midst of, of their fear. So just go back over those. I'll show you again, as always, the light is shining. So it's called The Miracles of Jesus. It's a man and it's a hand in the picture. So, But right now, what I'm going to do is I want to shout out Community Justice Initiative my group yes we are an activist group in rochester new york um we do all sorts of things in the community um and on wednesday we do have an event on um clinton and andrews that's downtown near the bus station it is at 3 p.m it is our annual feed the people we do every other week um if you have any canned goods any any type of food or anything that you um, want to donate coats, clothes, anything. Um, we go into the neighborhoods and we we give it out for free. If you donate money, if you donate water, utensils, paper towels, anything that is greatly appreciated because we definitely use it and we give it back into the community. Um, our cash app and our Venmo is dollar sign CJI58. Five. And if you have time, come down on um, Wednesday. Clinton and Andrews across across from the bus station, we will be giving out free food. And that's Community Justice Initiative. Um, yes, yeah, so that I wanted to make sure that I definitely put that out and promote um, this event. Let anybody know if they're hungry, we are feeding people downtown it's not just for the homeless it's for anybody children bring your children down we um this week i believe we're going to be doing um hot dogs and hamburgers and yeah y'all want no hot dogs and hamburgers when y'all ain't gotta go go to mcdonald's and stuff like that and it's free it's good too because i wouldn't give you anything that i wouldn't eat so we're gonna get right into this bible plan series this week <clears throat> um <clears throat> i also want to give my information i am lala jones on facebook my business page is lala's closet i am a closet stylist i go to your home and i will organize your closet i will organize outfits for you and I also sell shea butter and it is everything everybody is loving the shea butter I'm I have a couple of um different um scents and I have some new scents that are coming and I got some new things that are coming too so make sure you check me out on um Instagram also lala iv underscore less Lala is blessed in Lala's closet and make sure you order your shea butter and book your closet because I am your closet organizer and I am in Rochester New York today was a good day yet a sad day I was able to make it to Geneva today and show my love and respect um for Isaiah McCoy who was in um a hit and run and lost his life at the age of 30 and he has children and a wife and you know family that are hurting from this situation so I and um, my sister was very close to the family and she wasn't able to be there so me and my other sister we definitely made sure we showed up and showed respect so shout out to Geneva y'all hold y'all head up you know, I know it's a difficult time, but he will get through it. All right, let's get into this Bible thing. Feed the 5,000. This is one of the most famous miracles that Jesus performed, so much so that it recorded in all four Gospels, Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. Before we dive into, into it, we need to understand what had just occurred and that broke the heart of Jesus. John the Baptist, a cousin of Jesus and one who prepared the, prepared the way for him, had just been killed. Once Jesus heard this, 
Once Jesus heard this sad news, he withdrew himself by himself. But in typical fashion, the crowds heard he was near. So they followed him, even in the midst of his own grief. Jesus had compassion on th these who came to, to see him and healed the sick among, among them. Matthew tells us that the crowd stuck around for most of the day. So the disciples came to Jesus and suggested that he send the crowd away so that he could go to the villages and buy food for themselves. For they can go to the villages and buy, buy food for themselves. Instead, he told his disciples to give them food. But they claimed to have very little. Only five loaves of bread and two fish. So right now, Jesus' disciples are telling him, you know, we need to send the crowd away so that we can go into the village and buy some food because we don't have none. But Jesus, you know, he always coming up with something that is just unpredictable and, 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 and people are just like, what are you talking about right now? Like, how can we do these things? And, um, yeah, so he told them to feed the crowd and, and the disciples are like, uh, how are we going to feed the crowd if we don't have no food? So the people were brought to Jesus. Then he blessed the small food offering. He gave the 12 disciples some food to pass on. We read that the people got more than just one helping. They ate as much as they wanted. And the most profound part is that there was still some left. What started out as a small amount of food ended up providing leftovers for the disciples. So what happened was there was no food, but what they had with the five loaves of bread and the two fish, God multiplied that. He provided them with more than what they had. And not only did they have more than enough, not only did they have enough, they had more than enough. God provided more than enough. Isn't that good news? Like, that's good news to me. Like I said, I'm doing this Bible app the first time with y'all. Um, I've read the Bible over and over again, but this is the first time I'm doing this Bible app. And that is good news to me, that he will give you more than enough. Not just enough, but more than enough. And this was a miracle that he performed, another miracle. Yeah, another. He continued to perform these miracles over and over again. And he's still doing it to this day. It says, according to Matthew 14, 21, there were 5,000 men who were fed. But scholars have said it's likely this amount didn't include women and children. So it's probably that the crowd was actually 15,000 to 20,000 in number, maybe more. Wow. That is a blessing. That is a blessing. That is, oh my God. That is just amazing to know that God can take nothing and turn it into something. And he it, He fed from 15,000 to 20,000 people with five loaves of bread and two fish. That story right there alone it just shows how much he loves and he provides. Today's takeaway is be a giver. In this story, the disciples clearly couldn't get past the amount of food and the amount of people. They just didn't match up. One of the most profound thoughts from scholars is that the miracle of multiplication didn't happen until the disciples began to distribute the food. So the disciples just obey God is what they're saying. They they were like, we need to go in the vi village to get some food because we don't have no food to feed. We just got a little bit, barely enough to feed ourselves. And Jesus said, no, feed them. And as they were passing the food out, more and more food was coming. More and more food was coming. 
God was providing, as they were passing out more and more, the just imagine you they they were giving out the bread and giving out the fish and as it as it was getting empty it was filling up <laughs> as it was getting empty it was filling up and it just as it was getting it like oh my god to just think about like when i think about like when the story about when he told simon to set the boat out and it's and simon like why would i go out and my men been out there fishing all this time have not caught new fish and he's like well nevertheless all right god that you're god i still i gotta obey you so i'm gonna obey you so he took the boat out there and cast the net and the net broke the net broke it was so much fish in the net it broke there was so much fish that they had to call out for another boat to get the fish in but like I said, there was a drought. They weren't catching any fish at all. And that just goes to show his love that he will provide more than enough. And this is what he's doing right here. Providing more than enough. And as you as you as you empty out your basket, he's filling it up. That's like an overflow blessing. Like to me, the reason why I do these Bible apps is because it's encouraging and it 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 keeps you lifted and it 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 um it gives you hope, it gives you faith that if God did these things for these people, why not for you? I, I just think that, you know. I'm I'm encouraged. I don't know about anybody else, but I'm definitely encouraged by this word. Just thinking about my life and where I am and what I've been asking God for and what I, I've been needing God to provide for for me and, and my goals and my dreams and my anointing and my ministry. I feel like every time I he every time i empty my basket he fills my basket back up that's why this this bible plan is like oh my god if i was alone I, i'd be probably running somewhere right now but i'm not preaching like i said this is just a bible plan and i need the encouragement i need the inspiration i need god's word and we all need it so that's why i'm here they would have probably preferred to have seen a large buffet line set up so that their doubts could be quenched but that's not what jesus planned he wanted their faith to increase so the reason why jesus did what he did there was no food at all but as his disciples, he told his disciples, pass the food out. The disciples were like, we don't have enough. But they're passing it out. And as they're passing it out, it's emptying, he's filling it. It's emptying, he's filling it. He, but he did this to increase the faith of his people and his disciples. Because that's who we are. We are his disciples. When we're called by he calls us by our name and when when he calls we we become his disciples and so he puts us in these situations to increase our faith to build us up to show us his miracles so that we can believe more and more in him so we don't have to doubt that he can perform a miracle that he can make a way that he can heal our bodies, that he can protect us, that he can change us, that he can deliver us. And it may not come in the way that you want it to or you expect it to, but it's coming. This is often how we respond in our own giving. We see our financial status and think, I can't afford to give. So we wait until we have enough. And before we know it, we never end up giving or making a difference in our church or communities or in people's lives. 
That's true. That's so true. We think because we don't have no money right now or we're trying to build our business right now. We we don't we just we don't have the time. And then we ended up we end up never giving. We always have a chance to give some way, shape, or form in somebody's lives, in the church, in the community. That's that's God's love. That's God's love, his pure love to give. We all possess something to make a difference. We all possess something to make a difference. That means I don't just have a calling. I'm not the only one that can make a difference. The leader that taught you or whomever you're under or whatever, they're not the only ones that can make a difference. The president is not the only one that can make a difference. The congressmen are not the only ones that can make a difference. We all possess something to make a difference. The little boy who only had five loaves and two fish gave what he had and look what Jesus did with it. May we bring what we have to Jesus and trust him to multiply in it for his purposes. Let's not wait until we think we have enough. Mm. That's a good one. I tell people this all the time. Don't wait until you feel like you have enough. If you can pour out you can pour out or you can help somebody and not and need help yourself. I, there, it, 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 that's just love. That's just love, period. Love is even when you don't have it, you're still giving. There's some way, somehow you can give back to somebody. And I'm going to read that one more time. Before I move on, it says, we all possess something to make a difference. The, the little boy who only had five loaves and two fish gave what he had, and look what Jesus did with it. May we bring what we have to Jesus and trust him to multiply in it for his purposes. Let not, let's not wait until we think we have enough. So you have the chance right now to give back to somebody. You have the chance right now to do what God can do. It's no waiting. You don't have to wait. Matthew 14, 15 through 21 is the first scripture of this Bible plan and it reads, and we, and when it was evening, his disciples came to him saying, this is a desert place and the time is now past. Send the multitude away and they may go into the just and buy themselves for, for jewels. But Jesus said unto them, they need not depart. Get ye them to eat. So his disciples were saying to him, Let's send the people away so we can go into the village and get some food because we don't have nothing to feed these people. But Jesus said, hold on. We good. We don't have to go into the village. We going to feed these people here. He said, bring them hither to me. And he commanded the multitude to sit down on the grass and took the five loaves and the two fishes and looking up to heaven, he blessed and break and gave the loaves to his disciples and the disciples to the multitude and they did all eat and were filled and they took up the fr fragments and remained 12 baskets full and they had eaten where about 5,000 men besides women and children so right now we basically see that Jesus took nothing and turned it into something. And he made sure every person ate over 20. 
thousand people, five thousand people. He made sure as your every single one ate, and not only did he make sure they all ate, there was leftovers, and that's the act of God's love, His miracles. That's what he'll do for us. He'll take our little and turn it into a lot. He'll take our little and turn it into a lot. I'm not telling you something I just read out of a book. I'm telling you from my own experience. He will take nothing and turn it into something. He will take a little and turn it into a lot. And that's how much he loves you. That's how much he cares for you. He will do just that for you. He will provide where you lack. Because that's how much he loves you. So that very thing that you're feeling like, I only have a little bit of this. I don't have enough. I don't have enough to give. Yes, you do. You have more than enough to give. You have more than enough love to give. It may not be, it may be just something in particular that you cannot give. And that's okay, but there's some way, somehow you can give back to your community, to people's lives, to your church, to your loved ones. If God just woke you up and and put somebody on your mind, call them. If you got a little bit of extra or something, give it to somebody. Because I promise you that when you do this, God will do it for you. He wants you to know. He wants you to know that you have a purpose here and your purpose is to do something for somebody else. That's our purpose. That's the act of God's true love, to do something for somebody else. And he will take your little, and he will turn it into a lot. So that is part four of Jesus' miracles. And I'm reading these miracles because these miracles are an act of God's love because I believe that we have gotten away from his true love and I believe that the the Bible is a love story and if we take that we will know how much we're glory and if we take that we will know how much we're loved by God we will understand how much we're loved by God and how much God wants to use us and he wants us in places. He wants to put your feet in places. He wants to take you places. He wants to open doors for you. He wants to to build your brand. He wants to uh uh he wants you to be the best selling author. Author. He wants you to be he wants your business to be the best business ever. If you would just give it to him, Give him that little that you have. Give him that little that you have. Give it back to somebody. How can you use it to help somebody? How can you use it to help an organization? Or You know? He wants you to take your little and give it. Because he wants to provide you with so much more and the way he does it is by you giving that little so he can turn it into a lot be encouraged find somebody to love on today tomorrow find somebody to do something nice for to just show the act of God's love And know that if God did it for 
then he can do it for you. He is not he is not a, a respectable person. He doesn't just do for one. He does for all. And we all have a calling. We all have a purpose. None of us are greater than the other. None of us. None, none, none. We are all equal, better than anybody. And I, I am not the only one that can be used in this way. Other things that other people do, they're not the only ones that can be used in the way that they're being used. Know that God can do the unthinkable. And he wants to. You just got to give him that chance to do that he's not going to beg you he's not going to chase after you it's up to you but I'm telling you right now he's working his miracles and in his miracles is true love so yeah this was part four I really hope that you guys enjoyed it you can go to your bible app it's called the miracles the miracles of Jesus there's the hand it's green their prayer call with Shalanda I have the other um, episodes I will call them um, I'm doing a Bible series a Bible plan series and I'm on day four and I have one more and that's day five and I may do other ones in the future but this one was for us to receive God's love and I'm, I, I'm telling y'all receive his love right here right now because he's ready to show you beyond more through his love and he wants to increase your faith and he uses his love to do that how good who wouldn't serve a God like that that wants to provide for you he wants to love on you he wants to build you up. He wants to he wants to show you all as his masterpiece. He will show you all. He will put you right smack dab in the forefront. Show you all. Because that's how good he is. That's how loving he is. That's how big he is. That's how amazing he is. And that's the God that I serve. A loving, caring, on time, purposeful God who wants to see his children smiling, children smiling, laughing, living abundantly. So I'm going to pray um, real quick, just pray out. I really hope that you guys go back and really dive into this Bible plan. It's simple, it's easy, and it's just all about God's love. And Jesus' miracle. And how he used Jesus. He used Jesus. And he can use you. And he can use me. And he can use anybody else. We're all equal. Remember that. So Father God, in the mighty name of Jesus, we just thank you for this day, your grace and your mercy. Thank you for your word. Thank you for your love. Thank you for your wisdom. Thank you for your understanding. Thank you, Lord God for showing us your miracles, showing us how much you love us and how much you understand that you placed our souls and our spirits in, in these fleshly bodies and you understand who we are because you created us. And you created us in your likeness and in your image and, and to be amazing and to be wonderful and to be kind. And, and, and we just, we thank you. We thank you for that. We thank you for the anointing that you placed upon our lives. We thank you for the, our families and our friendships and our, our relationships, oh God. Thank you for not giving up on us when we didn't, we, we, could, we, we were giving up on ourselves. Thank you for opening doors when every door was being closed in our face. Thank you for being understanding when we fall short each and every day. Thank you for continuing to open our eyes every day and restore our souls and restore our minds and restore our hearts and even when we're completely wrong lord god thank you for making our wrongs right thank you for not holding it against us thank you for allowing us to see our flaws 
and not be shamed and not be weighed down and and not give up and want to quit because we're flawed but to understand that we can fix our flaws and that we can we can turn it around and and that you can turn us around and you can turn our situations around we just thank you so much for this bible plan thank you for so much lord god for using me for i appreciate you for everything that you do and everything that you are in my life in Jesus' name, we do pray. Amen. 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 Thank you all for tuning in. I pray that um, everyone was blessed. Thank you, cousin. Thank you, Jamie. I love you so much. Mm -hmm. I miss you. I miss my family. We definitely got to do something soon. Um, so I'm just glad that I could do this Bible plan with y'all. Not, nothing long, nothing um, really out there. Um, I'm not a preacher, pastor, or anything like that. I'm just God's vessel that I'm just going to continue to allow him to be. And I just pray that you all appreciate it and that you got some nuggets, some seeds, um, and that you can allow these seeds to grow into beautiful, beautiful plants, beautiful flowers. I pray that everybody wins. Whatever it is that you have going on, I pray that it prosper right now in the mighty name of Jesus. Everything that you put forth your hand to do, it will succeed and it will grow and it will be amazing because you are amazing. This is prayer call with Shalanza. I'll see y'all tomorrow. Yes, I'll be back tomorrow for the final day of this Bible plan of, about the miracles of Jesus and his acts of true love and how much he loves and adores us. I love y'all. Yes, growth in 2020. Thank God. Okay. I love that. So I'll see y'all tomorrow. See you later, YouTube. Don't forget to go to my YouTube channel, The Real Lala Jones. Make sure you subscribe. Make sure you check my videos out. I, I, or you can check them out on Prayer Call with Shalanda. Um, yes, yeah, so thank y'all so much. And tell everybody about that shea butter you heard. Shea butter, baby. Thank you all. I don't know what you're saying. Oh, oh yeah, y'all. Don't forget to vote. Don't forget to vote. Don't forget to vote. Okay? Y'all get up. If you haven't already, go vote. Please. Please go vote. Please go vote. And whatever you do, don't vote for Trump. Okay? <laughs> I love y'all. Y'all have a blessed night. This is Prayer Call with Shalanda, and this is my YouTube channel, Ghost of Scrub.